All right, here we are headed to the Tesla Service Center in Eden Prairie, Minnesota. Got my brother with me, my mom is at the wheel. I'm gonna take delivery of this Model Y uh, before the snowstorm comes, hopefully. First test of the all-wheel drive function. No uh, text saying uh, it's been delayed or anything like that, so I'm excited to roll up to the service center. I've never been there before. You like this craziness? Yep. into the dealership, I went up to the counter and said I was here to pick up my Model Y. They then sent me into the waiting room and less than two minutes later, Caitlin called me back into the lobby. There I signed a piece of paper and pulled up my Tesla app to accept delivery. Hopefully so, I don't mind on my brother's time. That's okay. okay, no, not at all. Um, so the number one thing you're using for is climate. Okay. So if you want to hit that now, actually, let's warm her up a little bit, hit that power button. You can see air is flowing. Um, I'm going to turn it up just a little bit. Low is kind of like in the 60s. Yeah. Um, then you see seat heaters, um, steering wheel heaters on. You hit the back button. Let's take a look at the location. Um, you want precise location, by the way. If you don't have that, it will not know how far away the phone is from the vehicle. Mm -hmm. So turn uh, the satellite view on because it just shows you, thank you. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> so it just shows that was you the one right that was. <laughs> where it's at. Um, let's just go back one more step here. I just want to make sure, so it's unlocked. Okay. Um, so you're going to go ahead and set up your phone key, but as your first time approaching the vehicle, oh, you have to be in the car. Oh, okay. Um, first time approaching the vehicle, you'll each want to have it unlocked so you're trying to figure out how to get in. Yeah. Once you do your phone key, it'll unlock as your phone approaches the vehicle. Okay. Um, and it is right out there for you to uh, take on there. You should be good to go. All right, Aaron, do the honors and peel off that plastic. <laughs> In 500 feet, turn right to stay on Valley View Road. We're here at the Supercharger in uh, Minneapolis on the north side of town here with the brother still. I just rolled up to the Supercharger and plugged in. I don't know if at one point I gave Tesla my credit card information or how it's charging me right now. But wanted to top off. Right now the range says 170 miles, but man is that changing fast. We're charging at 48 kilowatts, which is just about as fast as my Bolt was able to charge under ideal conditions. Uh, and this is with uh, a battery percentage of 52 right now. Just topping off, I wanted to see if this worked. Making sure that I'll have enough to get the 70 miles back to Rochester. Also wanted to give the car a bit of a drink since I know it had a long ride to get here. But uh, yeah, so far I absolutely love this car. It's just rides very smooth, everything is very tight, um, comfortable, quiet. Yeah, it's a pretty, pretty incredible vehicle. What do you think, Aaron? I think it's really nice. I think the amount that you get for the price is it's pretty impressive. It's pretty impressive. Quality is very good, um, at least at this point. You know, I know people have said 
at least people with experience with Teslas have said they all oh, they come apart after certain X amount of miles but I I just don't see how that is the case uh, other than you know your occasional lemon I just yeah the really build nice. qualities really impressed me so far I mean the only thing I've been able to see is there's a tiny little nick I'll show a picture on the front overhead um, material I don't know what you call it cloth but uh, other than that flawless everything else just wonderful condition The winds picked up on my drive home, and a ground blizzard developed near Wanamingo. It was quite scary at one point when a truck and I hit an ice patch and started fishtailing. Luckily the car corrected itself quickly and I had the dash cam on to capture the incident. Alright, I'm back home in my garage. So I'm learning some of the interesting sounds that this car makes. Sometimes it sounds like it's a frog riveting. Sometimes it sounds like, I don't know, like it's going to growl at me. But anyway, got my J1772 to Tesla adapter. I was very glad to see this in the trunk of the car when I took delivery. It sounds like for some folks it was backordered and didn't come with the car uh, right away, which would have been a disappointment because that would have meant I would have been out of luck and would have had to go to the local supercharger here to top off my car. But not an issue today. We're going to take my NLX Juice Box 32 here with the J1772 end that I used with my Chevy Volt and my Bolt. I'm just going to go ahead and pop this on. Clicks on nicely. Very secure feeling actually. And uh, unroll it a bit. And now to open this, I simply touch the door. It opens up. And then plug it in. Now the Tesla logo is blinking green to signify that it is charging. And if we look here inside the car, you can see that state of charge is 32%. Because I'm not planning on going anywhere tomorrow, I'm actually going to drop the current down to, uh, oh, let's do 12 amps. It's best to keep your car sitting uh, around 50 percent if you're going to leave it sit for an extended period of time. Uh, this week I'm not doing a lot of driving although tomorrow I'll probably go do some joy riding a bit before this winter storm rolls in. I'll have multiple ways to monitor it. I can monitor it with my NLX juice box app or with my Tesla app. Um, I'm probably gonna sit in here a bit more and play around with it before I go to bed but all in all I am very impressed with this car. It is solidly built. It's intuitive. A heck of a lot of fun to drive. I haven't put the pedal to the metal yet probably won't for a, a little while let it break in a bit but i can tell i'm really going to enjoy this vehicle and uh, i'm looking forward to many many happy miles and happy memories to be made in my tesla model y thanks for joining me today on the delivery and if you have any questions feel free to drop them in the comments i'm really excited to continue to share uh, my learning experience and ownership experience of the model y with you all thanks again for your support have a good one. Thank you.